Hello, I'm Rick Underwood, and this is David Walterman with the Reverse Mortgage Group. And today's question is, can I use a reverse mortgage to strengthen my retirement plan? That is a great question. And the answer is yes. I would say most people think that a reverse mortgage is like a last resort. Mm -hmm. They've mm -hmm. come to the end of the ropes. They don't have anything else. Right. So they're what gonna, else am I going to do? Yeah, look at a reverse mortgage. Mm -hmm. But we're working with financial planners that are actually recommending a reverse mortgage to their clients as a retirement strategy. Oh, yes. So yes. We're going to talk about that. But first, you know, what is a reverse mortgage and how do you right. And I will say on that. It, that that has been a change in the marketplace it has been. in the last five years because yep. before that you talk to financial planners and say oh my gosh no yeah. not a reverse mortgage Off i will not allow my client to consider a reverse mortgage and now we have more of them calling saying explain a reverse mortgage to me explain how this could benefit them yep. and when they get it it's 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 a life changer to a lot of these folks it really yep. is it really is um so what is a reverse mortgage? That's their question normally when they call up. Educate me a little bit. So reverse mortgage is, it's a pretty simple strategy. The, the, the lender allows you to use the equity in your home. You can access that cash to use however you like without making a mortgage payment. And talk about the requirements, easy requirements. Very, very easy. Because on a reverse mortgage, the property itself is the security on that loan. The borrower's qualifications do not come into play credit score, income, assets. Those aren't concerns. They really aren't concerns, which is a game changer also for so seniors for reverse, who are limited you've income. you've got to be 62? 62 years or older. Yep. Yep. Have equity in your home. Yep. And you have to live in the home. Live in the home. You can't use it on an investment property or a second home or anything. Yeah. But, but that's that, that's about it. It's pretty easy. Okay. Yeah. So with this um, idea we're talking about, inflation the way it is, Oof. I think there's a lot of seniors that they might have their retirement strategy all in place, but they're realizing... Yep their dollars might not take them to yes. the end of retirement. And they, they might be freaking out a little bit. Right, 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 so. right. When the, when the price of eggs doubles in a month, <laughs> right. I mean, everything, you, yeah. you start questioning everything. And it, it you get a little nervous when you do have that bucket and you're thinking, wait a minute, I don't know if that bucket's going to last as right. long as I thought it could. And They've got yeah. it structured to where they're pu pulling, uh, they're drawing yes. a certain amount every month to yes. live on. And so what happens after a down year in the economy... Right. Right, right, Gosh. right, right. And, and that's that, that's where I love in the, uh, the industry when we can learn from each other and financial planners and understanding their term that was new to us, a buffer asset. Right. Which is a new concept. Should we talk about that? Let's talk about that. So this is what mm -hmm. this is all about. Using the equity in your home as one of those buffer assets to mm -hmm. draw from. So let's, let's paint a picture of a real world scenario. Sure. Let's talk sure. about... A financially savvy couple, they own their home, they've done well, they yes. they don't have debts. Yeah, cars are paid off. Right. Mm -hmm. But this whole concept has been recommended by their financial yep. planner. Hey, put a reverse mortgage in place, and I'm going to show you how it works to right. add longevity and security to your retirement. So let's say in this scenario, we're looking at a, a couple, their age is 70, okay? And the home that they own, free and clear, is in Orange County. It's worth $1.7 million. And why are those two numbers important? Well, those are coming to uh, the factor of how much money they're going to be able to take uh, right. in a reverse mortgage, their right. age and the home value. So right. I know you illustrate this. Yeah, well, and I was just going to say, with a reverse mortgage, it is interesting because they're not qualifying you based upon income or assets or anything. They're they're The underwriters are qualifying that loan and the amount that you can tap into based upon their age, as we said, mm -hmm. their age, the zip code, uh, and the value of the home. So with that, we're going to talk about how that looks because even though the home is worth $1.7 million, these are FHA loans and they're FHA loans. Let me stress loans. this point yes. one more time. This couple... They don't need a reverse right. mortgage. They don't need any cash right now. So the, the reason they're doing this is for their future right. and to help strengthen their retirement right. strategy and that's already in place. Not unlike how a lot of other folks have a home equity line of credit in place just in case they need it. Right. And once again, the financial planners are realizing, get this in place now while you do qualify, while you, while you are in the home before anything happens, just in case. In yep. fact, that's actually what they called it, just in case strategy. Right. Mm -hmm. So based upon these numbers so far, 70 years old, 
mm -hmm. uh, a value of 1.7. I'm going to tell you what the bank is allowing them to take initially. Can I stop you first? Yep. So as we mentioned on a reverse mortgage, it's an FHA insured loan and you get all sorts of safeguards in, in, in place because it is an FHA insured loan. With that, FHA has what are called loan limits. Loan limits. So even though their home is worth $1.7 million, yep. to FHA, the maximum they're gonna insure is just over a million dollars. Right in now, Orange sits, County, yep. Yep, in Orange County right now, it sits at a million eighty nine three hundred to be exact. So we're gonna yep. say a million dollars. So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna say this is what FHA will insure. That's the one million dollar mark. That's the okay. one million dollar mark. So yep. all of all, from one million to one million seven, let's say that seven hundred thousand, that's equity that just stays there. Yep, it's protected. The, the it has nothing to do with the lender or underwriting or anything. That's just has, equity. It doesn't come into play with factoring their no. loan. Okay, not, not at all. So to a certain to that point, th this is the starting point. Yep, this exactly. is the the yes. So based on this and their age, the bank is giving them access to. A line of credit mm -hmm. of 368,362. And I say line of credit because again, they don't need, they're not taking any cash at close. So this amount that the bank is giving them access to mm -hmm. starts in the line of credit day one. And the great thing about this line of credit, we'll show you over time, it's compounding and growing. Right. So. And to that point, to that point, when you do the calculations, when we do the calculations, when we plug in age, zip code, value of the home, it's going to spit out a very exact number as to the maximum loan limit that the bank will allow the borrowers to borrow. So yes. normally if you're paying something off, then you'd pay that out of that mm -hmm. mortgage, whatever it is. With them, they're not paying anything off. Their home's right. free and clear. They don't have cars. This is really just a safeguard, a safety net to have in place. So that 368000 which is the maximum that the lender is going to allow them to borrow, starts off just as a line of credit because they're not paying anything off. And it's worth noting that this amount is, this line of credit is not accessible in the first 12 months. True. Okay, so if they True. needed any cash, they would take that at close. Uh, but the line of credit uh, stays frozen for the first 12 months of the loan. Right. Uh, it, it's still growing during that time, but you can't access it. Right, so right. So this is their security plan to use yes. as that buffer, buffer asset. asset. Right, so right, right. So why would you draw from this buffer asset if you have a retirement strategy in place. Right, right. And that that's the financial planners. That's when we're looking at each other and thinking, wow, I could use it for this and this makes sense for them to do this. So with that, they, they, they consider something like this, a buffer asset, when you can you can tap into something else when you don't want to liquidate your portfolio. In a down market, things are down 20%, whatever it is, you 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 don't want to draw funds when they're already devalued. So if you right. can keep that in place and have it recover, give it the chance to recover and tap into something else in the meantime, that's what they call a buffer asset. So after that down year, instead mm -hmm. of drawing from your retirement portfolio, right. you are drawing from this line of credit, that right. same amount that you would normally take in the course of a year, you're taking it from the equity in your house right. instead of your portfolio. Right giving your portfolio time to rebound yes after that down yes, year. Yes, exactly, exactly. So so those retirement draws you normally would take, you would just you you would just tap into your equity yep. to use those. And once again, let's realize this this equity it, it's doing you no good. Right. It's just sitting there. Yeah. We talk about it, it's as though you had three hundred and sixty thousand buried underneath your house. Unless you take out a loan, you can't borrow against, you can't use it. So you might as well use some of that equity. Very smart way to leverage that equity yes. in your home without creating a mortgage payment right. in the process. Right, and you don't so. put the house at risk. The house is still yours, the deed, every note. I mean, every, everything is yours. All the equity is yours. When you, if you were to pass or if you were to sell the home, all that equity still belongs to you. So yep. you're just using it in the meantime while you're holding on to this appreciating asset. And that's another component of the financial strategy that the financial planners are realizing is leveraging both of these. If you can leverage this home, this mm -hmm. home that's valued at 1.7, it's going to be appreciating. Averages historically are about four, four and a half percent. So why not hold on to this home, mm -hmm. tap into some of the equity while you still have this $1.7 million asset appreciating? So yeah. this concept is proven to add, add mm -hmm. longevity and security. Oh, yeah. And we actually talk about this in another one of our videos. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put a link below to that particular video, but we, we talk in depth about how this concept actually works 
and show you the numbers on how many extra years it prolongs right. being able to take from that. It's incredible. Retirement. When you see it charted out, it is incredible. Yes. And we cite some studies and you'll be able to see actual yeah, performance yeah. on this. So yeah. just for grins and giggles, let's see what their line of credit looks like five years in. So day one, again, it started at that 368. Five years later, they now have access to 554,969. Wow, what so was the money again? Basically 555,000. 10 years out. Hold on, hold on. Wow, okay. 10 years out. They have access to 733,811. So we'll call it 734. Wow. So once again, without them doing anything, they're doing nothing. Right. But that line of credit that we mentioned, we had it down here, started at 368. After five years, that's grown to 555. Yep. So after five years, they have access to 555,000 if they needed it. The magic of this is it's already in place. Yes. It, they can access it just with making a, a simple request, get their hands on that money. And use it tax-free however they like. Yes. They can put on a new roof, they can pay for a wedding, they can go on a vacation, they can do whatever they want yep. with that. Mm -hmm. And not create yes. a mortgage payment. Yes, and that's so. the critical piece with reverse mortgages that we cannot say enough. We did not say it enough in this video, that, that we cannot yep. say that enough. All of this is without making a mortgage payment. Of course, you're still paying your homeowner's insurance, sure. your property taxes, which you would do regardless. Right. Those so, are required anytime you have yeah. a mortgage. And you have to maintain taxes. your house. So sure. let's let's play this out to 15 years. At that point, they've got access to 1 million 100,000. Wow. And their home is valued at a little over three million at that point. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, well, and it's great that you bring that up because these are younger individuals. Yeah. In regards to reverse mortgage, we, we oh 70, 70 years old. Um, a lot of folks who contact us for reverse mortgage, they're in their late eighties, and it, it is kind of a last resort strategy. Mm -hmm. um, but these are folks; they're younger, they're still living, they're still spending. Let's be honest, they're still right. spending, and so um, that having that line of credit grow is significant so i mean they're maybe at they're, this point they might have some medical needs or they want to do what I was some say. right so know. at this point yeah they're they're 85 it, they're going to be at a different stage most likely where yeah. maybe they do need to make modifications to their, their home, home right. or something to that effect yeah. or need in-home care which is a whole different deal that we talk about in a couple other videos but with that home health care is very expensive as most people are learning, <laughs> right. um, if you if you go into a home, the average is about ten thousand dollars a month, which mm -hmm. is incredible. Uh, if you're able to receive in-home care, stay in your home, which is what most people want to do, right. it's between four thousand forty five hundred. So it's it's roughly half. Yep. So and that's that's another tangent. But once you get to eighty five years old, you have access to over a million dollars in yep. that line of credit to use however you like. Yeah. So maybe this concept is new to you. Mm -hmm. You've not heard of using a reverse mortgage as a buffer asset, we'd be happy to run numbers for your scenario to mm -hmm. see if it's something you want to put in place, even though you might not need it today, right. put it in place so that it can help you uh, add that longevity and security to your retirement portfolio. Yes, yes. And so often when we talk with individuals, the fact you bring that up is interesting because we'll say, you know what, let, let's get the financial planner on the phone also. Let, let, let's yeah. have a meeting of the three of us. Let me come to your office. Let's let's all look at this together because so often when we are talking to a financial planner, you see the light bulb go off. And at first they yep. think, I don't know about a reverse mortgage. And they see this and they see how they can use it as part of their plan. Yep. Because once again, they want to preserve this portfolio. They don't, they the don't more funds under management, with, it's well, better yes. for them as well. It so is it's better a win -win for them. It's a win-win for everybody. It's a win-win for everybody. Exactly. That's so part of the light bulb. They see the value. It is. It yeah. is. So. so anyway, we're here to answer any, any of your questions. Be sure and like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Yep.